Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas where we are diligently planning towards success. And in this video, I am going to be setting up my work planner for the mid-year and my social media planner. So I decided to go ahead and combine these two planners in this one setup video because I kind of feel like they work in harmony with one another. Um, one, I use this planner here for work on my, um, you know, So for one, I use this planner here for work secularly. And then of course my social media planner is kind of like a work planner for my own personal business and for my shop. So um, it's like a business planner. So I just felt like I would just put all of the work planner items in one video. So if you guys notice, I did get an opportunity to go ahead and use a mini happy planner for my work planner. This is a insert that I actually printed. Actually, I think my planner bestie printed it for me. And so far, I have a few sections in here, but pretty much January to June is in between here. And it is all filled up, you guys. And it is so cute. Like, I am in love with almost like every spread. So I do have some plan with me's. You guys, some of them you have never seen. But some of them I do have videos on, so you definitely want to go and check those out. And I feel like it was a great way for me to actually be able to use my stickers. So I am going to be doing a flip through a little bit later on, uh, maybe at the end of the year in this planner. But every single spread in this planner has been decorated, and that shows you how much I love it, and I have really, really been using it. So that's the first thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all of the months out from January to, because I am still going to keep this same planner. However, I don't need the, these months in here. There are a few pieces of information that I want to transfer, but, um, okay, this back section is where I kind of keep like notes and stuff. For work I actually have to keep that in here so everything back here is gonna stay I decided that I am going to add this this is a insert like a dashboard somewhat that has the full month on it I actually picked it up from infinity infinity Lotus so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like is on vellum It's very very thick and I'm just gonna stick that here it just has like January through December and in here I actually had some dividers that I was using for between each month but what I decided is I think I'm going to add the dividers as the month goes on just so that I can switch it up a little bit now, I do have some other dividers that I may be able to use those are for half letters but until I figure out exactly what dividers I want to use, I actually am just going to put in the months. So these are the months here. And these inserts are actually from Pleasantly Planned. Casey, um, Pleasantly Planned was an actual shop. And Casey, the owner, actually put it together. However, um, some things transpired and she ended up closing the shop so you are no longer able to get these inserts but if you do decide that you do want to get some inserts that are similar to these you can actually use um, the cloth and paper inserts which are very similar to this layout that I'm using so I do have some dashboards here you guys actually I think I just stuck a few in there so let's actually see oh I already put them in Oh, that's awesome. Look at me. Forward thinking. All right, so we're going to add in July. And July, I believe, doesn't have a dashboard. So I may have to add one. I do um, receive the digital dash box from... Um, Planner, planner press, print, 
uh, I can't remember the name. I received the digital dash box, so I'll actually link it below the website. Um, and so some of these inserts are from, from that. Isn't this cute, you guys, with the fall leaves? I got to get me some thumb rings like that. So, so pretty. So this is going to go in front of September because I absolutely love fall. It's one of my favorite seasons. So we will put September there. It is my favorite season. All right, and here's this one in front of October. She has the fall leaf. Now, to be honest, her hand right here looks a little weird to me, but you know, I'm gonna rock with it. So we got October. All right, for November, we actually have this dashboard. Now, in my opinion, this is hot chocolate because your girl don't drink coffee, but it could be coffee if you'd like. Love her little Apple phone, her planner. She's outside, looks like, you know, at a picnic table, just getting some cool air and having her hot chocolate. So I absolutely love this. This is definitely something I would do because fall here in South Carolina doesn't get too, too crazy. So... Okay, I think that's, well, we got a happy fall, so I'm going to move that. I think I'm going to put that in August, but I'm going to just put the rest in here. Because I believe the first day of fall is September. September. October, November. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put it in between August. Do I have one in August? No, I don't. So happy fall. Even though fall doesn't start until September, we are gonna prepare. So I'm gonna put it here. All right, so now all I need is a dashboard for July. And I think I can figure something out. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, as to what I'm going to do and put there. And what I might do, actually, is just move this and have this at the beginning. So let's see how that looks. I'm digging it. We can, we can do that. So this is going to continue to be my work planner. Absolutely love it. All right. So now let's move on to my dashboard layout. So this is my dashboard layout. Don't worry, I'm just pulling it out of my Notique agenda because your girl is still gonna be using her Notique, okay? I'm still gonna be using that. Now, you guys, one of the things that I struggled with was getting an opportunity to figure out whether I wanted to keep this cover or not. And to be honest with you, I am going to keep the cover just because I love it. I absolutely love it. It says Crystal Lenora, which is my first name and my middle name. And I actually have an Instagram that is entitled Crystal Lenora. If you wanted to follow me over there, um, I usually just do like um, just home stuff, you know, cleaning, um, maybe like me doing my hair, different things like that. I really am not on there that much at this time because I'm focusing on this channel. But I do have that if you wanted to take a look, if you want to take a little peek. So first of all, with this, I do have my 2021. I'm going to keep this. I feel like a lot of the stuff that I have in here are for every season. So I am going to keep this as well. Okay, there we go. Now, now you guys can see. I also am going to keep this 2021 at a year at a glance just because I absolutely love having that in here but everything else I'm going to take out now these are from January to June all of my inserts and you guys I actually decorated a lot of these as well um, so you will just get an opportunity to see 
February monthly. Didn't do nothing with that, as you can see, but I still planned. So to be honest, I pretty much planned every single week in this planner. But I am not going to be using the Happy Planner for my catch-all any longer because if you have already seen, I am going to be doing all of my planning in a daily and I'm going to be doing rewind spreads in a coil. So I'm so, so excited about that. Super, super excited because I really miss the coil. I miss doing sticker kits. And so now I feel like I can have the best of both worlds. I'll be able to decorate still my social media planner using my happy planner stickers. And then I'll still be able to use some fun sticker kits as well. So super, super cute. Take some of these out. And of course, I have plenty of these playing with me. If you guys wanted to kind of see some of these, I'll link a few of them. But I have all a lot of these. And my last week in this planner is actually the current week that we're in. And I am going to plan this week using the squad goals because you guys voted. On one of my videos for squad goals so that's gonna be a separate video so I'm gonna leave that out however everything else is planned you guys didn't see this but this spread was actually um, using the spring florals from live love posh turned out pretty cute I liked it so yes so we're taking all of that out now that I'm taking that out um, I have these inserts. These are inserts that I was using for my social media. To be honest with you guys, I haven't really used them that much. Well, actually, I use them all. But I'm not going to be taking them with me. So we're taking those out as well. I'm not keeping them in, I should say. Video contact ideas, I haven't used that. And I haven't used this either. So anything that I haven't used within the last six months, it's going. Like, we, we, we're, you know, we're decluttering. I love, love, love these dividers that I created myself using some um, tissue paper from Notique. Turned out really, really cute. I have a video on that as well. And now this is moving into my dashboard section. So my dashboard section is exactly what I use for social media. And so... I honestly want to keep all of it in here. I don't want to get rid of any of it. I want to leave it in. So what I believe I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add the other part of the planner. So this layout is also from Pleasantly Planned. I don't know if you guys got an opportunity to see, but this layout is also from Pleasantly Planned. And I absolutely love it. It is a neutral, neutral dashboard layout. And that's something that I really, really wanted. I always, I'm always, a, I've noticed that recently I'm a fan of neutral. So I'm sorry for all the noise, y'all. Let me get my, let me get my items together. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me find these inserts. I thought they were right here. I had them separated. Obviously, I'm not ready to do what I need to do.
All right, you guys, so this layout is from Pleasantly Planned as well. And I do have some dashboards in here. I have July. What is this? Oh, these are, okay, okay. I might use these for pre-planning. Now, these are actually monthly layouts from Fancy Plans. And they are predated for 2020. I may redate them and use them for pre-planning. So that's an idea that I have. So I actually am going to put this in my section for my business. So I'm super, super excited about that. November and then December. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be trying to use this for because, you know, I don't want to waste a thing. So I'm actually going to put this here. Yeah, we're going to put this back here. So this will be the start of my business section. Okay, so now back to the matter at hand. I stated that I did not want to remove all of those items, but what I think I am going to do is separate them. So I have this dashboard here. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put it here so that I can separate the first half of the year to the second half so that if I do need to go back and make a reference, I can. And so I wanted to kind of show you guys what the pleasantly planned layout looks like. It's just a plain dashboard layout. I have received so many comments about this layout, how everybody loves it. It is plain, it's black and white, it is very minimalistic and neutral. This is what I consider neutral. Unfortunately, Casey um, did close her shop so you won't be able to grab something like this. What I would suggest, though, is to see if you can find something from the Happy Planner that closely resembles it as far as neutral. Um, otherwise, there are printables out there that you can pick up that um, will give you like a neutral layout. It won't look exactly like Casey's layout, but at least it'll be a little similar. But to be honest with you guys, I am absolutely loving the dashboard layout for my social media planning. I am absolutely in love with it. It is working out so, so well. So we have that here and it says pleasantly planned right there, as you guys can see. Um, I had this for some notes, so let me get rid of that. And I think I am gonna just put one of these in here just to separate it a little bit. So then I'll have my pre-planning for my business maybe social media, some other things. And then I also am going to be having my business planner here. And uh, I'm actually gonna move this and put this here just to separate this dashboard from Happy Planner. And I have like all of my little ideas here, different research notes, things, uh, national holidays, um, my layout for my social media, my grid layout for Instagram, different Instagram tips, um, my affiliate links, my themes for the month that I want to focus on, shot list, influencer notes for influencing. And then this is like business notes from like our agenda meetings for Lux Clever Crafts, which is actually my shop. I'm going to be doing some big things come September, so you guys stay tuned. And then back here, I had like some Bible reading and some other stuff. This is that other half. And so I'm going to take this out because those are done. 
and so I don't want to keep those in there and then I also have these if I want to have some extra paper just for some notes so I'm actually going to keep that in there take out this daily I'm not planning daily in here take out the weekly and what is this monthly I can move that I'll leave the relax there and so this is really going to be monthly here and I had this for November this for October this says November this one says 2020 so I'm gonna put that aside even though I can cover that up I'm just going to put these in for my dashboard for November and October. Just because. So we got October here. And November here. And I just think that is so, so cute. Isn't that cute, you guys? I love it. All right, so this is my new setup for my social media planner. I'm going to keep everything else inside. I can actually, I actually save these because when it's time to pre-plan, I may still use those sticky notes. I can reuse them. So I did save those there. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you don't hesitate to Continue watching, subscribe if you haven't already, because I am so excited about being able to dive in and continuously plan for you guys in this dashboard layout. Um, I am loving the versatility of it, and I'm excited to try some new things. You guys, um, you don't want to miss my lineup. I am going to be having my mid-year lineup coming up soon because I've pretty much introduced all of my planners, and some of the planners that I will be using, I'm not going to be... Um, getting rid of so they will remain in my lineup and I hope that you guys enjoyed the setup video so in this video we set up my social media and business planner as well as my work planner which is right here and I'm super super excited to have both of these set up I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend to subscribe to crystal clear ideas and I will see you all in my next video bye guys